I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm questioning whether or not photons wave or not, or whether they are pulsating consecutive beams of particles, which I know they're particles, it's obvious that they are. Can't exist without volume of geometry. Nothing exists without volume, so I want to go out on a limb and say that you cannot currently measure with any conventional quantum physics whether or not light waves. They have never done this. As a matter of fact, the photon experiments are at the wrong quantum scope and are diffraction patterns that seem to be waves. That's what I believe uh, because they're not at the appropriate level. And Einstein is wrong about wave theory. A lot of people are wrong about wave theory. Waves might even be somewhat irrelevant. However, they are partially relevant. There is wave in this theory, but it's not what we think it is exactly. And there's an, a reason for the geometrical explanation. This is all about geometry here, folks. Uh, it has volume. It has motion. All things that exist are geometrical particles in motion. Now, that said, uh, the reason they thought they were waves, the photons, they and, and other particles, is because we know that they move. But what kind of wave is it necessarily? Is it symmetrical and constant? or not what gives it the ability to be a constant wave it's probably not that's the thing it's there's no way i'm going to go out on a limb there's no way to prove that photons are waves instead there's a perfect exact uh mimic of this of the of the scenario what happens is they pulsate with gaps between them. And they are streams, essentially. Pulsated streams of particles that have the exact same gap as the frequency of their wave. Okay? So, I'm going to go out on a limb. I've done the thinking uh, geometrically with convention of quantum physics currently that I know of. I don't think it's possible to measure whether or not photons wave. There, there's no way to detect it. The only way that I can dream of is to create an entirely different particle interaction with a different particle system by either CERN or Fermi Labs by beaming tons of unknown interacting particles to create a pattern. And that pattern would have to not interact with your sensor. Your sensor cannot interact with it, but your sensor needs to interact with the particles that need to be measured, which is not yet known what that would be in true physics. So it needs to interact with the measured particles, but not the ones that don't want, need to be measured which is actually the photon itself. It can't interact with the photon, but it has to interact with particles that quite possibly do not interact, which is a totally different particle system that would create an energy for that reaction. It's the only way to measure whether or not photons have waves. It may not be possible it may never happen. It may be thousands of years before this could happen. Thanks for watching. My name is Larry Ash Jr. I'm a self-taught physicist, chemist, and biologist.